Hey guys, it's Hipiro and welcome to Python tutorial number 15. In this t in today's tutorial we're going to be looking at uh the difference between mutable and immutable uh sequences. So go ahead and open up the idle. Uh and we're just going to create a simple function. It's going to take uh one argument, we can call that a, and it's going to try and reassign a going to say a uh, 0 equals b, okay? And then it's not going to return anything. Now, if we try calling my func, we'll have, we'll have a variable, we'll have my string equals hello, okay? If we call my func with my string as the argument, then we can see we get a problem. It says string object does not support item assignment. Okay, now we're going to come back to that. For now, let's create a list though and say one, two, three, four, five. Okay, now let's call my func with the list. No error. If we look at list now, we can see the first element in the list contains the value b. Now this is because of mutable and immutable sequences in Python. String objects, once they're made, cannot be changed because they are immutable in Python, which means, as I said, they can't be changed. Uh, whether it is in a function like I've shown in this example, uh, or whether it's outside a function, if I just try and change my string 0, to b, you can see we get the error again. Uh, whereas lists are mutable, which means you can change them in a function, and when you change them in a function as well, they will um, they will uh, change outside the function. And you can also change them outside the function, and they will change there. They will allow you to change. Uh, so that's what. Uh, mutable and immutable sequences are. Now we haven't covered every single sequence just yet and we are coming up to another immutable sequence which is much like lists, uh, which are much like lists I should say. Um, and after that we'll look at another mutable sequence which are not really like lists or the one we're going to be looking at very soon. Um, so, yeah, hang on to that, and I'll see you next tutorial.